Hey guys, what's up? It's Clay Ranger 143 here on a very windy New England day, along with Thunder Buddy 01, who's currently doing a NOAA scan on his 993. And uh, here we are in New Haven County, just right outside his college that he goes to. Yep. Albertus Magnus College is way over there. We wanted to go over there in the parking lot, but uh, yeah, we kind of couldn't because COVID! But anyways, um, besides all that, we chose a, the closest parking lot outside of the school, but we're near it. So anyways, we're in New Haven County, so we might get some new um, stations in this episode of Radio Reviews as we take a look at the Eton FRX3+. Plus. The Eton FRX3 Plus. This is an updated version to the one that I reviewed back in January 2018. So this is going to be pretty cool. Now you'll notice that it just looks like a regular FRX3. And he is holding the black and yellow FRX3 in his hand, which is the yellow jacket, as I like to call it. We'll get to that in the next episode. But, oh hey, a black Elantra. Anyways. So, the Eton FRX3 Plus. Very sturdy, reliable, handheld, sorta, radio. I say handheld because it has a little handle on top that you can carry it with. Plus, it can be used indoors, outdoors, as you can clearly see from the solar panel up top and the hand crank and all that. But we're going to get to all of those features in this one episode. So, as you can see, it is 1447 hours, which is 247 for those of you who don't know. 24 hour time. The sun is absolutely burning hot, but we're gonna do this as fast as possible. So anyways, let's get into the first feature and no, it's not the button beeps, nor is it the siren test because this thing has neither of them. So we're gonna jump straight into the reception actually. <laughs> All right, as Nicholas casually looks over from the side, big steep. But um, anyways, we're going to take a look at the reception first. So I'm just going to turn it on. We're going to try AM, FM, and NOAA. Let's try NOAA first. Or chance of rain, 60%. WXJ42 in Meriden, Connecticut is coming in super crystal clear. Morning. Hey, you got it on the regular one. The yellow jacket. Channel 2, absolutely nothing. Channel 3, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, wait, I'm hearing something. No, I take that back. Anyways, channel 3. Channel 4. Scattered thunderstorms. Winds and seas higher in and near thunderstorms. That's WXM80 in Riverhead. Yeah. Uh, so, one thing I should note, over here, like, closer to, like, I noticed this mostly over by my school. Um, I can actually get three stations, and I've been able to do this with my 993 and my HH. I've been able to get WXJ41 up in Hartford, mm -hmm. WXL37 over in uh, Highland, which I don't know how I can get that station from that far. It's a freaking miracle, that's how. Yeah. And... Uh, obviously WXM80, which you're probably hearing right now. Yep. WXM80 out of Riverhead, New York. WWH33 in uh, Mohawk Mountain. In Cornwall, Connecticut. Nothing on Channel 6. Is it just me, or did I notice that the channels would static? It actually, it automatically lowers the volume. Yeah, I noticed that. I don't know if that's the speaker doing that. Or no, I think it's a safety feature for the speaker or something. Because look. Island sound. 
I think it's actually a safety feature for the speaker. Maybe. For Wednesday night, part of the cloud. It has to be. But not here on this. Anyways, I'm gonna put the FRX3 Plus right behind the spoiler. By the way, I really hope you get new paint for this thing because that's just painful to see. That's what the sun will do. It's just like it's just like human skin. If you stay in the sun too long, it blisters and comes off. And that's exactly what the hell's happening here. Here, too. But anyways. In Tuesday. Okay, since we're in New Haven County at the moment, the most, uh, the, the, the station, the station with the best reception at, the po at this point is WXJ42, so we're gonna leave it on there. Oh shit. Please let is he coming here? Um is he? Is he? Is he? Come on. Nope. No, damn it. Sounds decent enough. Anyways. As I was saying before the ricer interrupted us. <laughs> um the strongest station that we can get since we're in New Haven County is WXJ42, so we're gonna have that as our primary station for the next feature, and that would be the speaker quality on this thing. Oh, actually, before we get into the speaker quality, I forgot to do AM and FM, so let's go ahead and do AM and FM on it. We were just getting 960, which is a primary here. Uh, Brick slash star 999. It starts small. No soy milk. Almond is fine. Okay. But then your boss There's tells you to switch offices with Jeff. But and when buying a car, you know you have to compromise. Oh, what about the all-new Nissan Sentra? Um, it's radically redesigned with zero gravity seats, a quilted leather interior, and it has the most standard safety features in its class. So, no compromise then. Okay. Refuse to compromise with the all-new Nissan Sentra. Word segmentation 2020 Sentra versus latest in-market economy compact class competitors. West Virginia vibes. Available mm. yeah. by vehicle model year, model, trim level, packaging, and options. Base models compared based on manufacturer's website. Music now. Driven by Splash Car Wash. Protect your car's finish from summer sun and spotting from acid rain. Wash all you want for one low monthly. All right. Uh, we were just getting 960 WELI. Logically, they lost. Oh, that's up. crystal clear. And well, all imagine. of them I mean, have the found out the, uh, the that it was misreported yeah. as COVID. They all had pre-existing conditions. Maybe One we might see the transmitter. Who knows? And uh, was a parent of a friend of mine. And then it turned. They said, "Oh my God, I can't believe it." And I couldn't believe it. I mean, as someone covering this, it was heartbreaking to hear it. And then later, they were told, "Oh, by the way." You know, COVID was in the mix, but we don't really think it caused it. Now, just what you said with what your daughter said, if you multiply this by a thousand, ten thousand, hundreds of thousands of times, you've changed the whole dynamic of not only the news coverage, but the response. So, right. but she's okay. That's good, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What do you, what's, what's your take in Iowa? That's a big state. Okay. The reception on FM and AM is really good just like the weather band now we can get into the speaker quality okay so let's get into the speaker quality on the eton frx3 plus even though it only says srx3 but i can prove it's a plus because if you look at the back of battery cover it has a plus and on this one it just has a three Um, yeah, this is the FRX3 Plus we're talking about, so we're just going to go ahead and into the speaker quality. As we hear distant police sirens, which somewhat remind me of Analog Archives' Amber Alert. Creepy vibes, I know. And we're not that far from New Jersey either. So, shit. Anyways, let's listen to WXJ42 in Meriden for this. Here is the latest weather map discussion. High pressure slides just north of the area today with slightly lower humidity. 
It will be very warm to hot as temperatures reach mainly the upper 80s and lower 90s, with middle 80s across immediate southeastern coastal sections. Clouds arrive tonight in advance of an approaching warm front. The humidity will begin to climb again. There will be a chance of showers, along with a slight chance of a few thunderstorms late. Lows will be mainly in the lower and middle 70s, with a few upper 60s across far northern areas. There will be a few morning showers along with a chance of a thunderstorm during Wednesday morning. A warm front is expected to live north into the afternoon allowing hot and humid conditions to take hold. Temperatures are expected to reach upper 80s to lower 90s across much of the area, with slightly cooler conditions across eastern coastal sections. The combination of the heat and humidity will make it feel like the middle and upper 90s across the metropolitan area by later in the afternoon. Oh, fuck me! Also the chance of showers and thunderstorms for very late in the afternoon and into the evening, with a few storms possibly becoming severe with strong, gusty winds. The high humidity is expected to continue into Thursday with a continued chance of showers and thunderstorms. The offshore waters forecast... You heard that right, because actually... We have a slight risk for tomorrow, and it includes... Federal signal smart, uh, uh, federal signal, bleh, federal signal... Federal signal, major for your brand. <laughs> Anyways, what? So, as the federal signal, uh, Touchmaster Delta, uh, go off in the back, um, if I go to this, uh, website right here and pull up day two, which is the College of DuPage, oh yeah, look at that, this is for tomorrow, and it includes all of New Jersey, it includes uh, Mount Holly, New Jersey, Binghamton, Upton, Taunton, and, and Albany. Yep, and portions of Gray, Maine, too, because yeah. Southwest New Hampshire is in it. Why do I have a feeling an enhanced will be in there somewhere? I hope there's an enhanced in it. I hope it's over the tri-state. Yeah, same. That would be so fucking cool to be in an enhanced um, up in Connecticut. But, yeah, all I know is tomorrow is going to be action-packed, and it better not fucking bust. But anyways, I rate the speaker quality as the wind continues to completely annihilate the fucking microphone. And, uh, by the way, for those of you wondering, we couldn't really do indoor reception because... Fucking outside! But anyways, I rate the speaker quality a 10 out of 10. I'd say On so this, too. honestly. Very bassy, very loud, and very good, and clear. But uh, we're going to get into the next feature on this, and that would be the pretty solar panel on top of this beauty. Okay, the solar panel on the Eton FRX3 Plus. So, as you can clearly see, it is being used to charge the radio, as you can see by the battery meter on the uh, upper right-hand corner of the screen. Which actually... Which I should note, compared to the regular FRX3, it, uh, the glyphs change at a lower rate compared to uh, the FRX3, the regular one. Yeah, the, there's the regular one. As you can see, it's way, way faster. If you could fucking focus, that would be nice. Come on, you piece of shit. Anyways, there you go. But yeah, you can see it scrolls up way faster than the FRX3 Plus does. Because on the FRX3 Plus, it only lasts for like a second for each part of the graphic. But either way, they both have solar panels, obviously, and it is very good in terms of, like, it could be used in a, a lot of emergency situations. Like, if you're out in the sun, like you can are. still get some information from the National Weather Service or through AM-FM. And it has 1050 hertz activation. If you just put it on alert mode, it can just pick up the stations just fine. One thing I already noticed is that the buttons are slightly more downward than the regular ones are because with the regular ones they're a bit lifted like you see that little lip Yeah, a little bit. But with the FRX3 Plus, it's it's like kind of flush. Yeah, more flush. Yeah. But either way, that's a good feature for both the FRX3 Plus and the regular one. But now we must get into the first flaw of the FRX3 Plus and that spit just went everywhere. So, as we discuss the next flaw, or the first flaw, I should say, Nicholas actually pointed this out to me. So, the battery. We need to discuss the battery. Because if I open up the regular FRX3, look at that. You get the uh, standard lithium-ion 
attached battery with like three little little nickel metal hydride rechargeable batteries all bundled into one rubberized package to make it more convenient and you have uh you have the option to use a, a regular uh triple uh, a batteries yeah three triple a batteries but with the frx3 plus what the hell is that thing i thought eton would not mess up on something this revolutionary and ow Ellie, you fuck! You burned me. Well, she's sitting in the sun. What do you expect? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. I forgot she's fucking hot. Speaking of which, I don't want it to melt the fucking. Okay. Yeah. 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 This is what they fucking replaced it with on the FRX3 Plus. This big blue piece of shit. Albeit it has more battery life, but still, they completely removed the option to power it with three AAA batteries like the regular FRX3. So as a result, they only have this, a big blue lithium ion battery. And I'm thinking to myself, why? Come on, oh, hold up. This thing has a little lip on it, yep. Why the hell would they mess up something so perfect? Does it give you better battery life though? I believe so, yes. And that's actually, and the fact that there's no triple, uh, there's no triple A battery section, that's also why they substituted this on the regular FRX3 for regular mute and unmute buttons on here. Yeah, that's what they did that for. That's what they did that for. That's exactly what the fuck they did that for. So if I power it on. We're sold. Muted. Fisheries Service at 727-824-5305. What the hell is that? What the? Did they seriously just air a uh, National Marine Fisheries Service statement? Yes. And we fucking missed it? Bruh. Well, I think they relay it at the top and bottom of every hour anyway, so but, we might get so we might get it again. Okay. But unbelievable. Why would they mess up something so fucking perfect? Oh, okay. Sorry about that. Thank God you caught that. But anyways, why would they mess up something so perfect? When it's like, oh, let's, just make it, let's just make it more complicated and make the cold fucking battery compartment a little bit different and just add a bigger damn battery. Oh, there we go. Also, also. That means you can't have any more dynamo functions on this thing. Yeah, it's all. The dynamo function is completely eliminated. Yeah, you can only charge the, the battery through here, the, mic the mini USB, or, uh, or through the solar panel up top. With the regular FRX3, you can plug it in with the mini USB. Oh, I also forgot you can uh, crank it too, but yeah. it's kind of a given with this regular. Hand crank and the solar panel, but still, that just eliminates the dynamo function on that radio, and that's bad in some cases, but to me, it's pretty bad that they eliminated the AAA battery use. Yeah. Oh boy. Right. So, as, as these radios are probably one of the more basic ones, why don't we just, and I don't think there's anything else that, that can be discussed, but. I know there is. The build quality next on the East oh, So, we're gonna get into the build quality on the go for this one. So, yeah. As you can see, he's clearly getting ready. So, yeah. I'm going to take these FRX3s off. As Ellie proceeds to be started up. So, yeah. Build quality is about to be discussed as we are driving back home to Fairfield County. Press the mute button. You're fine. Yeah, I was talking to the car. I was talking to the car because uh, yeah, I pressed mute and it didn't mute. Um. Okay. So let me go ahead and uh, do something real quick. Put my seatbelt on, of course. All right. So let's go ahead and get into the build quality on the Eton FRX3 Plus. All right, guys, we're doing the build quality on the Eton FRX3 Plus, and ooh, Dodge Charger Hellcat right over there with a Hellcat decal. 
on the side. But anyways, also we got a special guest through uh, Discord. Say hello, hello right there. It's EAS Test Fan 25, yeah. the Iowa Daz Deck. So as we continue to drive in Nicholas's Hyundai. Yeah, as we continue to drive in Nicholas's Hyundai, and it looks like the accident up ahead is still ongoing. They still have yet to clean it up. So, uh, crap. There we go. No, it's okay. I was just, uh, Hamden Police Department. It looks like they cleared most of the mess up, but, yeah, it's... Yeah, we had an accident earlier, Drew. Well, not us, but... Oh, man. Not us, but uh, some cars ahead of us. It, it involved a red Toyota Prius and a white Honda Civic. Everyone is everyone was accounted for and okay. But uh, right. it was a side swipe. Uh. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, let's go ahead and go to the build quality on the Eton FRX3. After we just finished discovering that the battery on the fucking thing got replaced with a bigger battery, but with no fucking option for triple A's anymore! Oh. Anyways, um, okay. This, this radio feels very sturdy, first off, in my hand. That's what she said. God damn it! <laughs> That's also what she said when Connecticut failed today. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, don't don't feel too bad. I had to witness it with you. I know. <laughs> oh, yeet, Porsche. Look at that. Anyways, um, okay. On to the build quality. So the build quality on the Eton FRX3 Plus is very sturdy. It feels nice. Very well built, if I do say so myself. All the features are, like, integrated into one, you know, compact unit. There's, it's not a messy, you know, design. It's not a messy design at all. Unlike the Honeywell. Oh, fuck. The, the, the fucking Honeywell. That piece of shit has so many goddamn buttons. It looks like it's on life support. <laughs> yeah. Not to mention that Honeywell made two other fucking radios, which also look like they're on fucking life support, including the motherfucking whatever model number it is, W. With a goddamn projected clock on the side of it! <laughs> yeah, and also, it's basically a motherfucking R8507W, but with just a fucking projector on the goddamn side of it! Anyways, we're not talking about the honey, I'm not feeling so well. We're talking about the Eton FRX3 Plus. But also, the features are integrated very well. They're almost flush with the entire unit. As you can see, the flashlight right here is also pretty compact. The buttons are very flush with it as well. Include the front buttons, the uh, tuning knob on the front. That's a very nice feature. Um, the FRX3 is a very, very good radio in terms of build quality. And also, just to make a, this case even better, um, the hand crank, which is the next feature we're going to get into, is on the next list of versatile features that this radio just so happens to have. Along with the black FRC, which you did grab that before we left, right? It's right here. Okay, good. Um, but, why don't we get into the hand crank feature next? Because the build quality, as I'm sure you all know, is quite possibly rated as S rank. I'd say so, yeah. Yeah, it's S rank. So how about that? Why don't we go ahead and get into the build quality? So, oh my god, we already finished the build quality. I'm distracted as fuck again. The hand crank is next. Yep. Also, on to the hand crank feature. So, if I go ahead and uh, somehow mount this thing, which I don't know how I'm going to pull off. Oh, oh, wait, here, here, here. Uh, there. 
hopefully I'm not going to talk as much, because, okay, so, oh, god damn it, that's not going to work. Uh, so what, if you, if, uh, no, I was going to say, uh, you really, uh, throw the hand crank with one hand. And actually, the actually, I have a better idea. That is perfect, okay, so, as we continue to drive along the Merritt Parkway, we are going to go ahead and uh, rip Chevy Cruze. But anyways, we're going to discuss the hand crank feature on the Eton FRX3 Plus. So why don't we go ahead and do that. So the hand crank itself is actually built into the case of the radio as one whole compact design. It can rotate in either direction and plus it can just fold back up easily when you're not using it to provide some, you know, more convenient design for you. So, uh, yeah, even though the camera may be rumbling a bit, I'm sorry about that. But, um, anyways, let's just go ahead and uh, test out the hand crank. As you can see, it's uh, testing out, uh, or not testing out, but it is charging the battery as I crank it which is exactly what it's supposed to do. I mean, if it wasn't charging the battery when I was cranking it, then obviously something would be wrong with it. But uh, this is a brand new radio. Nothing should be wrong with it at least. But yeah, the hand crank is working just fine. No issues to report on it. But yeah, and also it can, as I've said already, it can charge up your battery. In case your solar panel dies, you can use this as a backup way of charging. If you don't have a phone to use or anything, you can just do that. Oh, speaking of phones, we should get into the next feature on the Eton FRX3 Plus and the uh, FR370 LL Bean Edition, which we already reviewed earlier in the week, uh, has the same feature, but it's uh, kind of more complicated to do on that model than, th than it is with this one. But it's basically the same concept, and that would be the cell phone charging. Okay, as the DAS deck continues to go ahead and get the uh, audio he needs for his glorious sender IDs. Um, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and get into the cell phone charging feature on the FRX3 Plus. Now, mass as you hole, can mass hole incoming, mass hole incoming. Oh, oh wow, look at that. Look at that motherfucker. Yeah, that's right. Pass us, you piece of shit. <laughs> oh, it's a New York car. Okay. Yeah. Some fucking New York, yeah. Spiel Yorker. Uh, uh, is he blinking? Is he going on our lane? Uh, he will be now. Oh, he could couldn't have done that earlier. And he almost hit that Prius. Thanks, asshole. Yeah. But anyway, so cell phone charger? Yep. Uh, this thing has uh, the ability to charge cell phones. So when you have a low battery on your cell phone, you can just go ahead and use it. This radio as your own charger. Now over here is Nicholas's iPhone 11. Oh, man. Uh, Actually, hang on. I know what it is, but um, this is a iPhone 11 Pro Max. Yeah, he has the fancy smancy shit. But anyways, yeah. Here's the thing. If you have an iPhone or a Samsung or whatever you have, like or a, a Windows, HTC or a Windows phone, if you're that gay, who the fuck uses a Windows phone anymore? Besides, Windows phones were a mistake when they first came out and they are still a mistake today and it was built by idiots but anyways um yeah as you can see here is uh nicholas's iphone 11 pro max and this is actually being charged with the car at the moment and what'd you say drew drew oh i think he's switching to his phone as you said, but, um, anyway, you can actually, um, whether, like I said, whether it be an Android, a Samsung, or an Apple phone, or even an HTC, if you have that, you can actually use it as long as it has a method of charging via USB through 
the radio, you can just plug it in right there like so with whatever cable you may have, as long as it's USB to whatever input your phone takes, you can actually use the radio to charge your cell phone in case of an emergency. Whether it be during a power outage, whether it be uh, out in the wild and your phone needs an extra charge, that is an extremely useful feature, I have to say, for sure. The only downside to the cell phone charging feature, I'm gonna try to make this quick because obviously I'm driving. The only downside to that is won't be able to monitor the weather band while the, or at least monitor it clearly if, you, if you're trying to charge your phone through it because it'll prioritize charging your cell phone first over listening to the uh, weather. Exactly because when you turn on the cell phone charging feature it automatically makes the tuner go to static. Why did it just transfer to my phone? I didn't touch anything. I didn't unplug the cable. Uh, we'll worry about that in a second, but... Yeah. Anyways... Oh, another fucking BMW prick driver. How pathetically typical. Anyways... Let's go ahead and get into the next feature on the Eton FRX3 Plus, and that would be... The built-in flashlight and SOS light. Even though it's not really a fucking SOS light. Last feature, I'm gonna say for this thing. Four seconds to last, actually. But anyways. Um, the built-in flashlight slash SOS light. This is also a very useful feature. Like if your power goes out, you can use it. You can use your hand crank to charge it. Um, so yeah, as you can clearly see, it has two bright LEDs in the front of it. Obviously you can't see anything because it's the daytime, but yeah, if it was dark, And I just yawned, excuse me. But if it was dark, wherever you wherever you may be, you can use this to bright up the night. Or light up the night, however the fuck you want to say it. Oh, hey, another Elantra. Anyways. Um, okay. So, as you can see, as I was saying, I it had two bright LEDs. And uh, someone's getting towed. Probably after an accident. Jesus Christ, like the second accident we've seen. Is it an accident? No, breakdown. Uh, We're in trouble now, and there goes a Kia Forte. Anyways. Katie, hey, what's her car doing here? Well, her car is like <laughs> dark ish purple. I'm not fucking sure, but yeah. I know. Anyways. This radio also has a built in SOS light as well, which not to mention is not a fucking accurate SOS pattern. Eton! It's rather just a regular um, alert light, so to speak. It's, it doesn't it doesn't activate when there's an alert, but it's like a uh, red alert type of light. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like kind of like in the whole in the Star Trek series. Right. Yeah. I mean, that's what I that's what I use. Whenever I get a warning through it, just to know that I have something logged on there because it only has 1050 hertz activation. True. But, um. <clears throat> anyways, here's the thing about it the SOS light, it still can attract people for help, but it's not the accurate pattern. Like, for, um, SOS, like the accurate SOS light pattern like the FR370 has, the solar link. Um, basically put, the SOS pattern is like this. Three short flashes, three long flashes, and three short flashes. And then it repeats itself. So, yeah, this pattern is not really accurate. It just keeps on flashing endlessly until you press a button. But either way, it's still a good feature to have in the event of an emergency. I don't really think too many people are going to be... Ooh, Alfa Romeo, Stelvio, Quadrifoglio. Anyways, um, I don't really think too many people are going to be uh, paying attention to the pattern. So, I guess that's not really a downside. So, yeah. 
pretty nice useful feature and we're actually going to discuss the next feature when we get home and also we have an incoming call from Nicholas's dad so we'll be right back Drew Southwestern Somerset County in south central Pennsylvania. If you want to hold this while I check the log. Daylight time at 3:46 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Severe thunderstorms. Oh yeah, it's it's the is the gray box doing something? Moving east at 40 miles per hour. Hazard 60 mile an hour wind gusts and quarter size hail. Source radar indicated. Impact hail damage to vehicles. Oh, you do one for State College, Pennsylvania, but you don't do one for my area, you fucks. It depends, on depends on who's streaming it. Yeah, it depends on who's fucking giving a shit about it. Anyways, on that note, we're going to get into the last feature on the Eton FRX3 Plus. Yeah, so much for being so-called plus, because the plus thing about it is that, oh, nothing. Oh, the only thing they gave you is fucking battery life. That's all they did. And why am I filming with two fucking phones? Why am I filming with two motherfucking phones? This has to be the most illogical fucking thing I've ever... This has to be the most illogical fucking thing I've ever goddamn done in my entire fucking life. So, anyways, as I get the FRX3 Plus and put it right here, we're going to discuss the final feature on it, and that would be the aux cord capabilities. Auxiliary! Oh, Michael. Hmm. Guess what? What? The laptop's already bogging down again. You're shitting me. My anus cannot strike that. A oh, bitch. That's just gross. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a fucking Dazdeck laughing like over there. Getting his fucking IDs and shit. Anyways. How's this for a 2018 throwback? We're going to use this little guy to power on the auxiliary capabilities. How's this for a 2018 throwback? But yeah, I'm just going to hook that up to uh, this and turn it on. Oh, auxiliary. Let's use a song that I used in uh, the 2012 remaster that I did. That is fucking loud, but there we go. That's a complaint right there. The speaker can distort itself if it's all the way on max. The FRX3 regular doesn't do that. Very nice. Sounds pretty damn good. Oh, yeah. Let me put it over here so you can see it better in the light. Just for the hell of it. And excuse me, because all this talking about this radio is making me thirsty. Thank goodness Dick Richard came over to the house earlier in the week. Because he gave us some Alert Jazz Pepsi edition. How nice. Oh, man. Hey, Drew. Thank goodness Dick Richard arrives at the house earlier in the week. Because he gave us some alert jizz Pepsi edition. Even though he um, went ahead and fucking uh, carjacked Nicholas's Hyundai in the process. But yeah, that's about it for the auxiliary capabilities. Now let's go ahead and get into the final thoughts. So 
um, um, Drew. Yeah? So, um, you said something to me, um, about the ox. What was it? The ox. <laughs> you know what? All right, Nicholas, do you have a red one, too? Actually, no, give me all three. Give me all three Sharpies. There's a red one, please. Thank you. Another black one. Wait. I don't, I don't know if I have a black Sharpie in there. You do. What? That's a blue. I don't care. I'll use it anyway. Um, if I um, may. What are you going to do? Don't. What are you doing? No, I'm concerned. What are you going to do? Bitch. Oh hey, oh hey, Dad. Well, uh, uh, Drew, this is this is what you get. Drawing on a. This is what you get. This is what you get. Uh. <laughs> yeah, it's now Mountain Drew. So that's why he needed the Sharpies. Yes! That's why he needed the Sharpies! Yes! Thanks, Nicholas. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Anyways, um, the final thoughts. Get this damn mountain dance deck out of the damn way! Um, anyways, <laughs> the final thoughts. On the Eton FRX3 Plus, it is a very good radio. The only flaw that it has, to my knowledge, is that on auxiliary mode, the speaker gets horribly distorted and it goes from to just straight up <coughs> in a nutshell. But after that, um, there's really not much else to uh, to say about the radio in terms of bad features. Nicholas is trying to be Spider-Man, guys. Help. <laughs> hey, Drew, I'm not kidding. Let me see this. He's trying to be Spider-Man, guys. <laughs> Anyways. Also, also, need I fucking mention, I just need to mention this before I, after, before I finish the final thoughts. Mmm. But yeah, it's a great radio. I would certainly recommend buying it if you want to collect this stuff. It's also great as a first starter in terms of uh, weather radio collecting. Overall, I rate this an 8.1 out of 10. I'd say so too. With the only flaw being the lack of AAA battery function or yeah. like backups. Because instead they replaced it with this big ass blue lithium ion battery. But... Either way, that's pretty cool. And it's a very efficient radio, but I just want to say one thing, okay? All right. Mind if I transmit something over your EasyCast real quick? Well, the laptop shut off, so... Oh, never mind. Well, I mean, you can still... Um, yeah, I had to shut off the laptop because it was uh, bogging down. And uh, earlier, it, off camera, it actually blew screen. Mm-hmm. It blew screen during Connecticut's test time frame, which... By the way, they failed! Yeah, driver IRQL not lesser or equal. Yeah, that's bad. You need to do a disk check on it. Alright. I'll, I'll execute the command for you. It's basically, in the command prompt, you just go run it as administrator. FCC forward slash scan now. Or, um, you could also just go ahead and, like, do... C-H-K-D-S-K forward slash F forward slash R, then press enter on it, but yeah. Anyways, here's the thing. Now, Michael, I believe you left that empty box in the Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was about to get it, but anyways. my maid's uniform in the fucking cleaners, so until I get it back, you're to be self-sufficient, okay? Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, there's my sunglasses. I was looking for these. God damn it. Fuck, I didn't. 
A bang! God damn it. Possibly the, uh... Oh, shit. <laughs> what? You said you found one of your socks, too. What, what is that supposed to mean? Socks on the wall. Oh. I don't know. You tell me. I don't know. What? What the fuck? <laughs> Are you hearing this shit, Drew? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, Nicholas's dad. Anyways. I just want to say something, okay? Before I finish off this radio reviews episode, this very devious radio reviews episode. Okay, so. Okay. If you if you could, Nicholas, if you want to. Do you think you could take Drew with me? Uh, like, sure. to where I'm going? Yeah, let me get up first. Alright. You need some help? I got it. Okay. Oh, oh. oh. Alright. If you'd please, thank you. Okay. And, uh, so I'm gonna grab this with me. So. Yeah. Okay. So I just need to say something. I'm all the way up here in Connecticut. I just need to give. Okay. I just need to give and say something. Allow me, Clay Ranger 143, to give GSP my own office the biggest fuck you there is out there. For deciding, oh, what did you award him for Mitchell County, including Spruce Pine, when he's gone? That'll be the best comeback ever for him in your life! <laughs> yeah, 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 let's not do it while he's here in North Carolina. Let's do it when he leaves. Let's, let's show that goddamn... Somewhat two-faced son of a bitch. What's what in our fucking office? And let's just issue it while he's gone from the state. <laughs> Fuckers. Oh, it looks like they might issue another one too. Uh, Drew, you might want to get ready for WKYK. Yeah. I don't know if they cover Avery County though, because oh, they might. You, you just. You just jinxed it. What? I kid you not. What? 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 Uh, 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 hold on, hold on. What the? Wait a minute. What? Uh, son of a bitch! That's the one I was looking at. There you go. It just yeah, got issued. Drew Caldwell and McDowell. Well, the Mitchell storm still pretty much weakened, but it's still pretty severe. And why isn't this piece of shit focusing? This is a Samsung. Oh yeah, I forgot. Anyways. Watch, that polygon is going to pop up right on this side. It's going to be like... <laughs> Excuse me. Hey, I learned it from the best. Dickless. <laughs> Nicholas, I swear to God. Yep, yep, there it is. Oh, I like how this one just overlaps the other polygon. and just says, fuck you to Mitchell County. Like, there's already an SVR list, let's, put, let's just put one underneath that one, let's just, let's just fuck you to Mitchell. My home county, and you twat muffins over there at GSP, underestimated enough, and now you finally get off your fat asses and issue one when I'm gone. They were waiting for you to leave. Yeah, they, they were, they were waiting for me to leave because, yeah, they're being a bunch of fucking twat muffin pieces of shit up there. So, yeah, yeah. They said they just basically fucked me sideways, verbally and anally with these warnings, which is fucking disgusting. But then again, that's GSP. So, yeah. GSP, also known as gay sex pornography. Yes. Or in this case, gay sex partner. <laughs> <laughs> this is the shit I have to deal with. Uh, it so falls into place with the gay sex partner. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs>
<laughs> and spit take. <laughs> I'm done filming for a while. I'm gonna clean off. And yeah, no, exactly. yeah. before you ask, I, mean, I didn't call on myself. <laughs> well, I was gonna say that that's what the clown said after you pulled your sack. <laughs> Oh goodness freaking gracious. Alright. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna wipe up the uh Oh yeah, by the way. Oh yeah, by the way, WQIK did not relay that SBR because it isn't there. Oh, WKYK didn't, didn't relay that morning? WKYK did not relay because that's coming Are you good, Michael? <laughs> That's funny that you should say that. that and uh, why, why would you oh. tuck the front of your shirt into your shorts? Why are you looking at that, you perv? Uh, it's, it's obvious. It's right fucking there. He's trying to draw attention to it. <laughs> <laughs> this is what Krusty the Clown cleaned his teeth with last night. <laughs> <laughs> it's, still, it's still recording. I'm aware of that! <laughs> sign off intro. Uh, sign off intro. Okay. <laughs> There's not even enough time for an outro this boy Just cut the cameras. Well, this is Fun of Audio One signing out along with Clay Ranger 143. Or I should say, I should say, Come Ranger 143. Thunderfucker 01. And also. ESS Fan 25. And we'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care.